Good evening and welcome back to the Burn in County Clare in Ireland. It gets its name from the Irish word Burn, which I think translates as rocky place. It's a lunar-like landscape and I've been here before and I made a video here some time ago. I'll stick a link up here. And the last time I was here, I actually ended up in casualty when I uh, took a slip in the rocks and cut the bottom of my chin and needed about six, like six or seven stitches. Either way, I'm here today. The weather is a bit bonkers. Wind howling as usual. And I've been onto the shore in Fenor earlier on and I took some images and I'll put those up in a few moments. But the wind was so strong and the sea spray so mad, I just couldn't make a video. So I'm back here this evening, got another couple of hours of light and I'm gonna get trying down onto the shore and see if I can capture one or two images either shooting actually on the shoreline herself or shooting back across the, the landscape, the, the limestone rocks to the distant hills. And fingers crossed, I get some images. Oh, so I've come across this giant bowler which is split in two and kind of looks like a giant butt cheek if I'm honest. I'm just working a composition here, trying to frame it so I'm capturing them as part of the landscape, including the ocean and most importantly, and caption the hills in the background there. But what I really, really need with this now is light. Just to light up those rocks, capture the kind of white, grey tones on it, and it'll basically light, set it on fire. Fingers crossed to get it. The sun is fighting in and out between the clouds behind me here. But if this comes off, this actually may, may make the whole trip worthwhile. Looks like I'm going to get soaked now in a minute. The clouds are rolling in behind me here. It's getting really thick. And I don't think I'm going to get some of the light that's been absolutely magical for the last hour, uh, which is often typical in landscape photography. Best light is while you're fluting around looking for compositions. Either way, another hour until the sun goes down. So I'm going to stick around here. I think this composition is worth it. And fingers crossed, we get some light. I might have to wait till tomorrow. I'm just going to I was checking on the photo pills app there as to where the sun will be tomorrow morning. About nine o'clock, get over the, it'll appear over the hill here, which could work and light up those rocks. That's if we get any light in the morning, or any good light, I should say. Gonna wait it out and see what happens. Things are getting a little tasty now. Beautiful light now. Sun is picking out details in the, in the boulders in front of me, and the light in the background is just getting darker and darker. So changeable, absolutely stunning. I mean stunning. Oh, that's nice, Bjognok. Beautiful. Oh, ho, ho! so I, I've moved around to the other side of the the big boulders or the butt cheeks, as I call them, and the composition is way, way, way more interesting. I got these beautiful, strong silhouettes of the boulders against the sky and there's a companion boulder just off to the right hand side which is really balancing the scene and there's these gorgeous crack in the foreground just swinging around from the left I really think it works for a really strong composition and I just need to make sure I nail my exposure because this is good and there we go
Well, as ever, it's been fun to be back in the burn. Always a challenge to photograph. So many compositions. It's so tricky underfoot, very dangerous. But I think I've got an image today that I'm going to be happy with. But right now, there's only one thing to do. Oh, 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 oh,